Welcome back guys. Today we'll be doing January 2021 CSEC mathematics question. Let's get started. The function f is defined as f such that x is mapped on to 3 minus 2x. Now this function we are used to rewriting it as f open bracket x close bracket replace the arrow with an equal sign 3 minus 2x. So these two functions are exactly the same, just rewritten in a different way. So we have here the diagram below shows the mapping diagram of the function f. We need to determine the value of a. Now the first part represents the domain. So the domain consists of our x value. So we call this our domain. And the domain assist us in getting the range which are called the y values so f of x and y are the same thing these are our x values and we substitute it into this function to get our y values so we need to first look at the function that we're given 3 minus 2x if I substitute x equals 0 into this function, replacing the x with 0, 2 times 0, that's 0. So that will be gone. So all I'm left with is 3, which is what we're seeing in the range. It's the same case when x is equal to 1. When I replace x to be 1, I will have 1 times 2. That gives me 2. So 3 minus 2. That will give me 1, and that is what I have in my range. And finally, when x is equal to 2, I will substitute this 2. So 2 times 2 is 4, so 3 take away 4. So my answer will be negative 1. So this is my y value. So what are we trying to establish is what is a when x is negative 1? So we substitute x to be negative 1 into the function. So I'll have 3 minus 2 open bracket. Then I replace the x with negative 1. Now this should work out to give me a because when I substitute 0, before I got, get 3, when I substitute 1, I'll get 1, and when I substitute 2, I'll get negative 1. So when I replace x to be negative 1, I will get a, where a represents a value. Now calculating this, minus 2 times minus 1, that's positive 2, so I will have plus 2, because negative times negative, that's positive. The subtraction sign is like a negative sign. And it's equal to a now 3 plus 2 is 5 so my answer here is just 5 and that's it now the next question asks to determine in their simplest form the expression for the inverse of the function f which is the same thing as rewriting it as what I have here so that's how you write the inverse now the function is a function that was given in the previous activity that I did, where f of x equal 3 minus 2x. Now I'm going to replace f of x with y. That's the first step. Then we will be interchanging x for y so and y for x. So the y becomes x and then the next x becomes y. Now we're going to make y the subject. So we carry the 3 over the equal sign. So we have x minus 3 is equal to negative 2y. Then we divide both sides by minus 2. These two cancel. So y is equal to x minus 3 over negative 2. Now I replace y with the inverse function symbol. So... Here we have the inverse is x minus 3 over negative 
to the so next we're going to determine the composite function f square x now f square is the same thing as rewriting this having f been written twice then x so what's happening here is that when you have two square we know that two square is two times two right when we have numbers if i have four square i'll have four times four so if i have f square then that means it's f times f so it's a function f within the next function that's what's happening so i will be resubstituting the function back to into itself let me go ahead and rewrite the function f of x so what we're going to do we're going to replace the variable x with the same function so this variable will be replaced with 3 minus 2x so you're substituting 3 minus 2x back into itself so that means where i have x i'll be replacing it so let me go ahead and write 3 minus 2 then this variable i will replace it with 3 minus 2x so i'm substituting f of x back into itself now let me clear the bracket so rewriting the 3, then I have minus 2 times 3, that's negative 6. So I'm multiplying this. So minus 2 times 3, that's negative 6. And minus 2 times negative 2x, that will give me positive 4x. So 3 minus 6, that will give us negative 3. So I go ahead and write my minus 3 plus 4x. And this is the answer for f square x. So this is where we substitute the function f back into itself. So the result is minus 3 plus 4x. So what we did here, we replace x with the function that's what's happening here. We substitute it back into itself. So replacing x with 3 minus 2x. After doing this, we multiply. So we have minus 2 times 3. That's negative 6. Then minus 2 times minus 2x. That's positive 4x. Then 3 minus 6. That gives me negative 3 plus 4x. And that's it. Now another way that we can rewrite this, we can have this as 4x minus 3. So another way is to rewrite this as 4x minus 3. It's the next question, we're going to state the value of f of f inverse negative 2. Now for this, we're doing the composite function, but we know what is f inverse already from the previous activity. We found what is f inverse. And we also know what is f of x. Now f of x here is 3 minus 2x. That was given at the starting of this question. There you go. That's where it's coming from. I also did f inverse where the inverse function and here i'm going ahead to write what's the inverse function so substituting negative 2 into my inverse function that's the first thing that i'll be doing then i substitute the answer into f so first i need to find out what is f inverse of negative 2 so i replace x with minus 2 so I will have minus 2 minus 3 over minus 2. So minus 2 minus 3, that's negative 5 over negative 2. Then I go ahead and rewrite this as positive 5 over 2. Followed by substituting 5 over 2 into the function f. So after finding f inverse negative 2, we replace it into the function f. 
the function f represents 3 minus 2x. So I'm going to replace x with 5 over 2. So this variable, I will be replacing it with 5 over 2. So I have 3 minus 2, open bracket, 5 over 2, close bracket. Now, simplifying, the 2's can cancel. So I can cancel these 2. So I'm left with 3 minus 5. So my answer is negative 2. So the answer for this is minus 2. That's it. Now I've manipulated this question. So instead of having minus 2, we have positive 2. And I'm doing this just to ensure that we understand what was done. So once again, I'm going to list f of x, which is 3 minus 2x. And our inverse function, which is x minus 3 all over negative 2. So first, I will be substituting 2 into the inverse function. And the answer that we get, we substitute it into the f of x function. Now, having the 2 means x is equal to 2. And I am going to substitute it into the inverse. So what is happening? Finding f inverse of 2. So substituting it into the inverse function, I will have 2, replacing x, 2 minus 3 all over negative 2. Calculating this, 2 minus 3, that's negative 1 over negative 2, and the negatives cancel, so I'm left with positive a half. This positive a half will be replaced in the f of x function. So the inverse answer goes into the f function. The f function is 3 minus 2x. So I'll be replacing my x with a half. So our new x is a half, and I'll be substituting it into 3 minus 2x. So where I see my x, I will be replacing it with the number a half, which you can use 0 0.5 if you prefer decimal. Now, 2 times a half, that's 1. So 3 minus 1 is 2. And that is the answer. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.